let's uh, start by uh, testing a few resistors. I have a few resistors here. Uh, various uh, uh, values, different values, and uh, if I go and uh, test them one one by one. Test that. You can see a pass on the screen. Next pass. This time shows high and the resistor value. And it shows a pass and. Uh, I expect this time to show a low because this is a um, low value resistor and it's showing a low. Now this is possible uh, because the Fluke 45 has the second display. So this is the second split. Uh, as I said, this is uh, quite a useful feature. If you have a project um, and you have a, a junk or quite few resistors which you don't um, know their values, or you haven't got, uh, you want to save time and. Uh, in such case this can help because then you can just go and uh, test uh, those resistors. Now if I go again if it's if the value is low such as this then you hear two beeps but uh, if it passes you just hear one beep. So you get the point. Even without uh, looking at the screen you would be able to um, identify uh, resistors. Um, so depends on your project need then you can just set a range here a min max value uh, and then within that range you can select all your resistors or other components for that matter. Um, yeah, you can select diets, etc. Right now, how I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to set a range. Yeah, from scratch. So let's go back and press this to start from the beginning and first thing you the way null leads uh, null in the leads uh, basically what that does it, it removes the resistance of the leads and uh, to do that in steps you just join the leads together take a value, take a reading and then press this uh, relative and now you have zeroed, zeroed the leads out. Uh, zeroing the leads out is uh, quite important if you uh, want to do uh, to take accurate and precise um, measurements. Now you've done that step next step is we um, if we press the hold value then we can you can see that this only works with 
um, with the ohms. So you need to manually uh, set the um, the range. Okay, so once you set this, once you take a measurement, let us take this. Is, if we can set this as a maximum value, and then take another measurement and take this as a minimum value. Now we have a a minimum and a maximum. Those two are the values. Now how we set them? Um, if you press the second display and keep it pressed, then you can press this button and that automatically will set this as a low value. So you set the low, now we need to set the high. So let's say this other value of the resistor. Uh, let's get this. Now, because the, so the hold button is being pressed, you have the reading um, on the screen and it stays there. So press the second Keep it pressed and then press high. And you can see the value is stored. So once the min and max values are stored, then you can use this. Uh, there is a, I hope you can see, is a compare, compare button you use that by pressing first the second display button and then press this. Now the screen is quite important because it tells you the status uh, what you're doing in steps. Uh, it's quite uh, easy to get confused if you don't follow the screen. Now the two dashes uh, is telling us that it's on a compare status, so we can compare and we can go through uh, various components and compare them. So let's now we're ready to test. So let's go for the first resistor and this pass. So everything is set now. If we go for a low value resistor you can see it uh, shows the value it's exactly one ohms this one well just happened to be um, and it's a low resistor low value I mean this low is low within the range we have set uh, so now test the other resistor and this one as expected passes And because we set this resistor as high, it's showing high. So basically, we put that aside. Pass. Another pass. So those were pass. Let's then put the group them together. And now we can test another resistor. Now you can see no reading, nothing. Now, if the resistor is out of your range set, doesn't even beeps. It doesn't show anything. No reading, no beeps. So this is clearly out of the range. Well, 
out of the range as well as out of the it's not uh, obviously it's not uh, on the ohms uh, scale we need to so this is too big for this the um, scale we put we are reading ohms not k ohms and not mega ohms so we're just reading ohms so this is too big and uh, the meter will ignore that which helps uh, when going back to the tests when um, it passes it um, the meter does one beep when um, it doesn't it it makes two beeps and then do another test this passes and um, you only have one beep so without even looking at the screen you can uh, go through uh, resistors and select them uh, accordingly for your project I hope this helped um, I'm going to do a few more videos on this um, Fluke 45 but uh, yeah that's it for now thanks <laughs>